science time, we're going to talk today about we're going to talk today about um, specific waves. Specific waves. We had a list in. Uh, let's have the the pouring of tea happen on the microphone. It's ASMR. ASMR. <laughs> You guys know about ASMR? Yes. This comes up a lot lately. Um, I have strong opinions about ASMR. If you watch my YouTube videos, you can identify the opinions for yourselves. Some of them are not appropriate for 8th graders, but you can... There are videos that I make that are 8th uh, graders, so... Make ASMR, videos? ASMR. <laughs> ASMR. No. Do I look like I make ASMR videos? You can tell I don't have eyeliner on. I'm not in a dark room. I'm not petting a pineapple <laughs> for 45 minutes. Uh, anyway, so we're talking about ASMR today. No, JK, JK. Shh. Okay, we are talking about waves. Uh, let's start with the example of me pouring tea into a teacup. So here's a teacup. What's in the teacup? Okay. No, nothing yet. We'll say there's tea to begin with. I already poured it in there. And then we have, let's, let's freeze time. We've got one drop of other tea falling okay it's 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 direction of motion is down which when it when it interacts yes. with this what is going to happen well let's draw so this is time equals one time equals two at time equals two when it has fallen oops it's supposed to look like that there is a what do we call it when a wave what do we call the what happens in a medium? Ripple is one specific kind, but what do we call it in general that changes about the medium or about the wave itself as the wave propagates? What do we call it? It's a, a wave we define as a cyclical or a repetitive what? Transverse. No, it doesn't have to be that. That's a specific type of wave. I go back in your notes. A specific a wave is a cyclical or repetitive what in a medium. It doesn't have to be in a medium. No, it doesn't have to be mechanical. This one is, but uh, we're talking about types of waves. A wave is a cyclical or repetitive what in a medium? Disturbance. 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 Okay, so when this drop of T interacts with, with this, there is a disturbance. What is going to be flowing outward from where the T dropped? T. No? Nope, nope, nope. The answer was T, and that is wrong. Remember, matter doesn't move through a wave. Matter can oscillate in a wave. It can go back and forth, but it does not move in a wave. So at time three, the disturbance propagates. Remember, we use that word. The disturbance propagates. Propagation. The disturbance propagates, and the energy flows outward. So the direction of energy flows out. Of energy. Oops. Energy flow. It's moving all out in all directions from the central point. And for this specific wave, what does that look like? What kind of wave is this? Ethan, you had already answered it. What kind of wave is this? Mechanical. It's a mechanical wave, meaning it's traveling through what? Yep, travels through T specifically? No, matter. Travels through matter. T happens to be matter. Um, but what is actually moving? T? Matter? Energy is moving but the mechanical wave is traveling through the matter. And what do we call what the wave travels through? What's the word for that in general? The medium. The medium. Are you aware of medium, medium being used in other capacities? I don't mean like the size medium. Um, does anyone do art? For instance, Hunter, do you do art? What medium, art medium is another word. What would you do art with? Um, if your medium for your art is chalk on sidewalk, in fact, if you go to a museum that has artwork, they'll often say, this artwork was done oil on canvas, for instance. That's a medium. That means they used oil paint on canvas. The medium through which they did their art was canvas. The medium through which our, made, our wave traveled is T. It's medium. The medium is the thing, the stuff through which the wave travels. Do all waves need a medium that's made of matter? No. Does... does the wave in my teacup need a medium? Yeah, it does. Does all do all waves though? No. Nope. But what kind of waves do need a medium? Mechanical waves. You can tell because I'm pointing at it. 
In cross-section, what does this wave look like? Well, we had our T-drop here in the middle. What's going to be propagating out from it? Waves. Waves. Yeah, the, the, the energy is moving outward, and so the, like they look like waves. Why? These waves have a crest and a trough and a certain wavelength and a certain frequency, just like the waves we did in the last video. This is not the complete diagram of a wave, um, but this is the. Don't you have in your notes the the complete diagram? Yeah, I do. I just wanted to. What kind of wave is this? BT dub. It's a mechanical wave, but what kind? What? Which of the two broad categories of waves is it? Transverse. It's a transverse wave. Actually, technically, this kind of wave, a wave in water or a wave in tea, is kind of both. The 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 particles will actually be moving. How do they move in a transverse wave? Like we've drawn this one. How do they move? Up and down, or it, they move perpendicular to the direction of energy flow. So up and down, or they can also move left and right, and which they do, because that's why it turns out to be a circle, right? If we actually look at it from the top, it'll look like a circle. If we look at it from the side, it'll look like a waveform. Um, but also, they will also move forward and backward too. So we call that a longitudinal wave. And so really, in a matter wave, they're actually moving in a circle, because they're kind of behaving as a longitudinal wave and kind of behaving as a transverse wave. It's not either or. Are you guys writing notes, or are you writing notes? Okay, let's move on to a more specific thing here called a, what kind of, what other things can move as waves? Shh, sound. Let's move on to sound. So let's talk about sound next. Sound waves. What kind of wave are sound waves? We've already talked about these a little bit. Uh, aren't they transverse? No. Oh, they're we, they, we do sometimes represent sound waves as transverse. Like if you've seen a oscillogram, a diagram of sound waves, it'll look kind of like this, you've maybe seen something like this before. It looks kind of like a heartbeat thing, too. I'm drawing it regularly. But you can, like, sometimes on YouTube videos, they'll put this little thing in the bottom, like, to show you where the sound is, like, what the bass is, and that kind of stuff. And we can represent them like these are transverse wave representations. But the sound wave itself, in real life, is actually a, what kind of wave? We saw this on the video, too. Longitudinal wave. Longitudinal wave. Longitudinal wave. So remember, in a longitudinal wave, what's the direction of particle motion? Yeah, it's the same direction. It oscillates back and forth along the same axis of oops, bye bye, of energy flow. What are these things called? Uh, the other waves. Yeah, okay, the little dots are atoms. What are these things called? Compressions. 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 And then between the compressions are Rarefaction. rarefactions. And we'd already talked about this, so we're just going to kind of run through it. I mean, it's actually from this lesson. Um, but what the things that we are very familiar with about sound maybe from like when we turn on a television set or when we've been to a concert or something or if you've ever done anything with sound what we're familiar with sound having volume right and pitch what else does sound have volume thank you taylor pitch volume and pitch what else does sound have Frequency is pitch. Let's just write that one down. Pitch is the frequency of sound. The the faster these waves are, for instance, if this is your ear, speed. which looks like that to me, if this is your ear, the faster these waves are coming into your ear, the higher the pitch you hear. So when your mom shrilly yells at you, come clean up this mess, come clean up this mess, that's a high pitch noise. And it's high frequency. These w the more of those sound waves are hitting your ear each second. When your dad yells at you, boy, you better get in here, that's lower pitch. And so fewer of these would hit your ear every second. Okay, because pitch is frequency. <laughs> the pitch is, pitch is frequency. So the more of these that go by a certain point in any given time, increase the pitch of the sound will. Gabe. Um, don't we hear our voices um, deeper Yeah, okay, and that's true, too. So because of this, because when we have, sometimes, this happens to me a lot when we're taking this video, I think that my voice sounds one way, and then I watch the video, and I hate my guts, um, my own guts, I hate them. And this happens to you, too, maybe, maybe not everyone. Some of you, I'm sure, are very full of yourselves. Um, but 
what is happening is that the sound we hear from the environment comes through the medium of what? What is the medium here? Air. Air. Usually, almost always. You sometimes you hear sounds when you're underwater, and then the medium is water. Um, but the sound that we hear normally in our daily lives is through the air. But when you hear your own voice, what is the medium through which the sound is traveling? Well, where's your voice coming from? This hole. Your voice is coming from this hole, and it's going into where? Where are you hearing it? So what's in between there? Skin, muscle. Primarily, though, what? What's the main thing that the sound's traveling through, probably? Your bone, the jaw bone. And so it's traveling through a solid, which gives it a different frequency. You hear it with a different frequency than if you, someone else is hearing your voice. So here's the thing. This will make you sad. Your voice sounds like on a recording is what your voice sounds like to other people. That's your true voice. The voice you hear in your head, that's a lie. Yeah, but um, what happens then? What happens then? What might change if this were all underwater? If this is water, what's going to change about it? How does it sounds? Shh, it sounds more muffled. But what's actually happening is the sound is doing what through the water? It's, instead of moving the, what is different about it between? No, not echoing. The atoms are closer together, and therefore the sound travels how? Does anyone know? No, no, not slower, faster. Faster. Sound travels faster. Sound, which is a wave, travels, write this down please, travels faster the denser the medium. And there are other things that, that temperature matters, but in, it, the denser the medium, the faster the sound travels. The reason, have you ever been underwater at a lake? Um, what does it sound like? Yeah, it, like, it sounds like it's everywhere. Like It sounds like it's coming from inside your head because your brain your brain is designed to pick up sounds that are happening in the air. The, the way I can tell, you don't even realize this is happening, but if someone comes in there right now, if, if Darren Lovercheck comes in the door and says something, even if I'm at the board, I turn around because I instinctively know where the sound is coming from. And that's because if I'm here, if I'm right here looking this direction, the sound hits this ear first and then this ear. So I know instinctively the sound came from that way, so I turn that direction. But when you're underwater, the sound is traveling so fast that your brain doesn't know which way it's coming from. So it sounds like it's from everywhere. If someone if you're underwater, you can't tell which direction the boat is from you because it sounds like the sound is coming from everywhere. Your brain is not designed to determine the direction so of a sound from a water. Yes. So would you, if you had like your foot's on, and this is not a fact, say Mr. Lovercheck comes in and you hear him more, <laughs> and then Kyla comes in, you're still a little tiny person, and you wouldn't hear her, is that, <laughs> that have anything to do with it? Are you making fun of Mr. Let me, I'm going to interpret your question very gently, Taylor, even though that's not how I think you meant it. If a person has more weight or more mass, probably they have louder footsteps because they cause a greater disturbance in the, the medium that's around them. Yes. Okay, okay. That, and that was a, as gently as I can possibly answer it. So what would sound probably travel the fastest through? If it travels faster in water than in air. If it travels faster in a liquid than in a gas, what will it probably travel the fastest through? Solid. Probably a solid. A solid is denser than a liquid, generally. Not always, but generally. Yes. Fish, yeah. Fish have fish have not ears as we would call them ears, but they have they have um, auditory sensors. That's my phone. Don't worry about it. I know. So what, what, um, what causes sound waves then? What causes the disturbance of a sound wave? Yeah, the, it has to be a physical disturbance in the matter of, of what we call a vibration. What's causing the sound to emanate from my vocal cords right now is that as the air is pushing past, it's not the air itself that's vibrating. My vocal cords vibrate, which causes the air to vibrate, which causes the air in front of my mouth to vibrate, and then that the air itself is not moving towards you, or at least not very fast, but the sound waves are propagating from one atom to the next. That's why fate can hear me even though he's across, across the room, because the, the air that's going past my vocal cords, the literal matter, is not moving across the room to fate, but the sound waves, one air particle bumps into the next one, bumps into the next one, bumps into the next one, like a chain reaction, like a domino is falling down. So fate being able to, kind of like dominoes falling down. Fate, you had a question. Mm -hmm. And then your mom yells at you, mm -hmm. you can't hear her, but then when your dad yells at you, you 
I think I think what you're getting at the question was how come you can hear your dad's voice better than your mom's through a wall? It's probably because the uh, the low frequency sound is able is less baffled by the matter. We're going to get to that in a second. We're talking about absorption and reflection and transmission of waves in just a second. But we need to move on. Hunter, what was your question quickly while I erase this? Why do like everybody have a different voice? Even though we all have like everybody in the same way that you have different. The question was, how come everyone has a different voice? The, in the same way you have different fingerprints, even if they're not very different, they're, your entire body is different from everyone else's body. And part of your body is your vocal cords, and be, the way they're shaped determines entirely the sound of your voice. Not just your vocal cords. The shape of your mouth, the shape of your sinuses, all those things together make you have a different sounding voice than everyone else. It's a completely physical part of your body. You can change your voice, obviously, but shape of your vocal cords, or the shape of your mouth hole, or the shape of your sinuses. Yes. Shh. Yeah, exactly right. Um, the question was, back to Fate's question, the question was that lower pitch sound can travel more easily through solid objects because the waves themselves, the compressions, are further apart, and so they travel through it easier. Okay, next we're talking about light. Light is another kind of wave. What's special about light? Does anyone know what? Uh, there's a lot of things that are special about light. Wait, William, what is, what's special um, about light? It goes one way straight up and down and then one side. Okay. There's a, the, because light is a transverse wave and it moves perpendicular to the uh, direction of motion, um, there are two ways to think of So if the direction of energy flow is this, there are two ways it can be perpendicular. It can be perpendicular along this axis, and it can also be perpendicular out and in, like out and in through the board. Do you see what I mean? So pretend, I try to draw it skewed so that it looks like, uh, the yellow one I try to draw so it would be flat, like in and out of the board. The one, it doesn't really matter which is which, but we can label this purple one as electricity. What do we label the other one? Magnetism. It's electromagnetic. Light is an electromagnetic, electromagnetic wave. All light is an electromagnetic wave. There are lots of different kinds of light. What are some kinds of light? Uh, artificial light. Sunlight, so the kind of light. UV light. What's UV stand for? Does anyone know? Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet. Um, we're going to get to this, the specifics of those in a second, but just like sound, what was when we had different volume of sound, what was that? We talked about this in the last video. Wait, I forgot to mention it. No, no, you're answering a question I didn't ask yet, or had asked a couple minutes ago. When we had the different volumes of sound, what was changing about the wave? Do you remember from the last lesson? What about the wave change or different volumes of sound? The what part of the wave? Look back in your notes. Someone find it. I mean, we're not moving on until someone finds me. What about the sound volume changed? What about that wave changed? No? The frequency was pitch? Amplitude. amplitude. The amplitude was the volume of a sound wave. For light, what changes about light? Well, like we just said, for sound, frequency was pitch. For light, frequency is what? When we can see it, no. The frequency is what? How bright it is. No? That's amplitude. Yep. Amplitude is brightness. Let's spell it right, though. Frequency is not just color, but it's type of light. And if it's visible light, it's the color. What is non-visible light? What is non light? We're going to get to this more in depth um, in the next lesson, which is called the behavior of light waves. But basically, non-visible light is pretty much all of this. If we have a spectrum of light, only this tiny little bit kind of in the middle is what we call visible light. And all the colors of the rainbow are in this. We'll do this again. We have red, red, orange, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, 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 purple. There's a song that my son has a little toy that sings a song and it says, all the colors colors of the rainbow rainbow red red orange orange yellow green blue purple 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 it just says purple a million times which we think is funny but anyway all the other things if this is visible light what does that imply about the rest of this entire spectrum 
on non-visible, starting with down here, um, radio waves, microwaves. Yep, all these are light waves. Microwaves, infrared, ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma rays. Great hunter question. Uh, great question, Hunter. Gun or what's his name? Hunter says that he thought radio waves would be sound waves. Well, the radio obviously is emitting sound waves. What's happening is th those radio waves are transmitted from a tower through the air. You can't see or hear them. They're completely invisible, completely undetectable to you. But the radio itself has a little, in the olden days it was a quartz rock, that, it had, that would resonate at the same frequency as whatever the um, radio wave would be. And then it, that resonance could be picked up by a speaker and then it would project that. The new radios have a different way of operating. They're digital, um, which is slightly different. But basically, at the station, at the station, a sound is picked up. It's transmitted as a radio wave, and then in your car or your bedroom or your bathroom or whatever, that radio wave is picked up by that transceiver and then projected as sound. So the the way it travels is actually as a light wave, but so it's, 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 transmitted. it's transmitted. It's changed to sound waves. Yes. So, me, Cody, went to Cody's house and he had this radio, you know? Yes. And Gunner, like, hit it really, really hard. Great. He broke it. He broke it. The question was, Gunner hit something and it broke. Why did it break? He broke it. Taylor, good. Okay. Um, anyway, all waves. Now, we have one last thing to talk about before we're ready to move on. Gabe, what was your question? Taylor called you old. I am old. No, I okay. Yeah. Waves in general. Waves in general. The, we'll get to this down here in the next lesson. I just want to kind of wanted to give you a preview. We'll watch a video about it, too, if there's time. Um, but waves in general. Write this down. Waves in general, when they interact... Waves, when they interact with another type of matter, can do one of three things. This applies to light waves and sound waves and mechanical waves, all of them. Behavior of waves, we're going to put that down next. Behavior of waves. Behavior of waves. They can do one of three things. They can be, you probably already know them. What's one thing that can happen when a wave interacts with a new type of matter? They can stop being waves. Um, we're going to talk about that one in a second, Gunner. Yeah, they can go through it. We call it transmission. Transmission. Go through. How would a sound wave be transmitted? Is a sound wave being transmitted right now? Yeah. Well, yeah, because there's a new type of matter. Um, the, the sound waves are being generated from me in my vocal cord, and they're being transmitted through the air into your eardrum. That's transmission. It's going through the air. What's another thing that can happen? Gunner says one. How come, my, how come Mr. O can't hear my voice right now? Because he's, he's deaf in his right ear. No, no, no. That's not the only reason. How come he can't hear me? How come Mr. Cake Master can't hear me right now? The air, why is the air not being transmitted? Okay, Kesson says too far away. Kesson says too far away. If I was speaking a little bit more loudly, and we were the same distance away, or 70 meters away from each other, and we were on the football field, do you think he could hear me? He might not be able to understand me. Do you think he could hear me? Yeah. yeah. So that's not it. It's not that the waves are dying out. Even though they are, there's a little bit of what we call dampening. But what is what else is happening? Yes, Gabe. Um, it's not going through all yeah, there's, there's other things in between. The, the waves are being absorbed. Absorption. Which means it effectively goes away. The wave is gone. The wave... Yeah, energy can't be created or destroyed. Excellent point, Hunter. So what is happening to it? it just it's just... Yeah, the, the, it's becoming friction in the wall. Some of the particles are probably moving a little bit faster. And the energy is effectively dissipated into the universe. The energy is not gone, but the wave is gone. And then what's that, what else could be happening? Echo. And what do we call it? Echo. Reflection. There you go. Reflection. Okay, so that was all for sound wave. That was all for sound wave. What about for light wave? How could light be transmitted? Is there something in here transmitting light? Where's the light coming from? Yeah, so there's lights in, there's, there's, the light is being emitted. It's being produced inside of those in, in, in the ceiling. But the glass that's over top of them is transmitting. The light's going through it. Where's the light being absorbed? What, what in here is absorbing light maybe the best? Mm, what, what's absorbing it the best though? I would say Aisha, nope. Esmeralda's, 
jacket. It's probably absorbing light the best of everything in here. The light is being going into Aisha's Esmeralda's black sweatshirt. And in the same way that the sound waves are absorbed, the light is the, the energy isn't gone. But what does that energy turn into? What does it feel like if if you go outside and you're wearing a black sweatshirt as opposed to a white sweatshirt? Yeah, it feels warm because more light is being absorbed. Okay, and then what in here is reflecting light? I would say the thing in here reflecting light the best probably Kindle's hoodie, which is reflecting light a lot. It looks really bright. Perfect reflection. What would a, what would a perfect reflection look like? A mirror. A mirror would be not not perfect. If you're wearing a green shirt, then the mirror in that little part is green. A, a mirror just reflects light. That it does, that's a meaningless question. That's what it does. Without reflection, you tie. If I reflected no light, you would be invisible. That's what reflection is. What? Reflection is what allows us to see. Kindle's, Kindle's, Kindle's shirt. Kindle's shirt. The reason Kindle's shirt is green. Shh, hush. The reason Kindle's shirt is green is because the white light, which is made of all the different colors of light, is coming in. And what colors is Kindle's sweatshirt absorbing? Here's Kindle. She's not purple. She's black. Okay. Shh. Hush, 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 hush. Okay. Here's, this is a very flattering and good picture of Kindle. Um, why do we see her shirt as green, though? Only the green light does what? Only the green light reflects. So we know that the green light is going to reflect out in all directions into our, into our eyes, but the white light is made of all the colors of light. There's purple light coming in, there's orange light coming in, there's red light coming in, there's yellow light coming in, there's green light coming in, and there's blue light coming in. But only, listen, listen, hush, listen, all the colors of light are coming in. Why don't we see it as a rainbow? What do we call it? When all the colors of light are mixed together, what does it look like? White. 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 So the white light coming in, the white light coming in gets on Kendall's shirt, and then her shirt only reflects the green light. So what colors does her shirt absorb? White light. No? Anything Red, orange, yellow, not green, blue, and purple. But not green. Her shirt reflects the green light. Yes. 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 What about RGB lights? They only emit light of one color. Okay, what if you had, like my TikTok light up here, what if, uh, okay, this is only emitting blue light, right? So what color does this look like? Blue. Obviously. Um, and it's going to be kind of hard to tell on camera, but if we had something red, my red marker, would, be able to, would we be able to see that the red marker is red? Yeah. Yes. Well, we can now because there's also white light in here. But if it were only the blue lights, what would the red marker look like? Black. black. It would look black because there's no red light coming into it. Only the blue light's coming in, so the red marker would look like it's not emitting any light. It's not reflecting any light, because it isn't, because only the blue light is there. Do you have questions about any of this? Thank you for your good questions. We talked about three things. We talked about the behavior of waves in general. These apply to what? Transmission. No, but they apply to what? What, what kind of waves? Light, light and sound. All kinds of waves, but specifically we talked about light and sound. We talked about light waves specifically, and we talked about sound waves specifically. Do you have questions? Fate has one. Okay, hush, hush. I'm probably going to have to cut the video. Listen, shh. If you guys, hey, we've got five, we've got five minutes. I want to actually address your question. No, I have a, I have, there's an actual answer. The, listen, hush. Okay, it's thought, fate, fate. I know you're not trying, as you say, to be racist, and I appreciate that. The, the, the evolutionary reason that is thought, the, the hypothesis, no one can prove this, but the hypothesis is that when people evolve, that your skin, what does your skin do besides keep you warm or cold or keep out the germs? What, is, what else is your skin responsible for, for your nutrition? Yeah, it does do that. It does all those things. 
protecting your muscles. What else does it do? You, this is something we don't think about very often. But what does? Why do you? Why do some people get depressed in the wintertime because they don't have sunlight? But why? What does the sunlight do for your skin? It'll make it vitamin D. Yes. Okay. There. You say it again, Hunter. Okay, your skin is responsible for producing vitamin D in your body. It only does that in the presence of light. It's thought.